Stolen guns on the streets after bold break-ins like this. Weapons now in the wrong hands used to, in some cases, kill people. Today, the feds ranked Florida one of the top three states for guns recovered in crimes. And remember that smash and grab video you just saw? Well, that's where our Melanie Michael is live in Hillsborough County. Melanie, this is pretty disturbing information here. It is, Jen. Good evening to you. Here at the Tampa Arms Company, it is still boarded up. 35 guns were stolen from here. And Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says one of those guns was used to take the life of a mom. Kendra Lewis was only 27 years old, a mother of two small children, looking forward to going Christmas shopping with her little ones. Over the weekend, Kendra was shot in the face in front of her five-year-old daughter with a gun stolen from Tampa, used by two teenagers busted in Polk County. Both teens have rap sheets a mile long. All this from Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. Robbery with a firearm, resisting without violence or multiple arrests, disorderly conduct. How is he not locked up? Sheriff Judd admits he is fired up and fed up. Florida is the third most populous state in the nation. There's 20 million people here. Guess what? Newsflash, we're going to have more criminals. The sheriff tells Aid on your side these cases leave him heartbroken and frustrated. Those criminals want guns. They're not going to gun shows to buy them. They're stealing them. Newsflash, if you have a gun store at the end of business day, put them in a safe. So where do all the guns go after crimes caught on camera like this one at the Tampa Arms Company? We know where one went. It was used to take the life of Kendra Lewis. Sheriff Judd offers this advice to all gun store owners. Double down on your security. And certainly you don't want the guns in the hands of criminals. And honestly, Jen, nobody in the country, no one around Tampa Bay wants that at all. Florida ranks number three in the country for those stolen guns. Texas ranks number two. California tops the list. Jen? So the sheriff's got it right there. That sounds like population, population, population. Mm -hmm. We do know one gun was taken off the street, although too late for that mom. What about the other weapons taken in these smash and grabs? Well, Jen, 34 of those guns remain on the street tonight. But again, the most important number in this entire story, two. Those two children who are without a mother this Christmas. No question. The awful consequence of all of this. Melanie Michael, live in Hillsborough County. Thank you, Mel.